The next speaker is another Stockholm Water Prize laureate, this time from 2010. She, yes, it is another one, extraordinary woman. Uh, she has made exceptional contributions to control the spread of cholera, that also Professor um, Rose just talked about. Her interests are focused on global infectious diseases, water and health, and she's now working, amongst other things, I'm quite sure, uh, on how to ensure quality of recycled uh, water for human consumption. So please welcome on stage Professor Rita Colwell. Your Majesty, Excellency, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor to be back here at um, the Stockholm Water Prize Week, especially with my colleague Joan Rose. Um, I have not been resting on my laurels since 2010. I've been working really hard on another really serious problem, which is how to deal with water shortage in California, Saudi Arabia, uh, other parts of the world which um, lack uh, water. We've addressed a very interesting problem of recycling wastewater. So a technique that we have developed is to use DNA tracing, much as uh, you would um, see on television tra tracking criminals. In this case, we're tracking pathogens. We're extracting DNA from a sample, and then we, uh, from that DNA, we sequence it. Um, the sequencing is done in a way that uh, provides us with DNA fragments. We match these um, with a very important... Uh, curated library of pathogens that allows us then to uh, identify all the bacteria, viruses, um, fungus, and parasites in a, in a water sample, food sample, or even for that matter, a clinical sample. The identified bacteria then can be analyzed, uh, the DNA, to determine the presence of antibiotic resistance, which is a serious problem glo globally, and, and uh, other pathogenicity factors uh, that are present on these uh, microorganisms. So this allows us then to analyze uh, water samples in a rapid uh, five or ten minutes using a handheld device that we are now in the process of developing so that we would be able to utilize uh, wastewater. Uh, and in fact, in California uh, and in Saudi Arabia, this is exactly what is now happening. That is, the, uh, from the waste treatment plant, the water is uh, transferred to the drinking water plant, and there a series of treatments, reverse osmosis, millipore filtration, chlorination, along with um, ozonation, provides then safe water. How safe is it? Well, the analysis that we've been able to do shows that the wastewater contains a lot of pathogens. Uh, once it's gone through the millipore filter, it has uh, uh, only the bacteria that are essentially the water bacteria that are quite safe. And then after reverse osmosis, we find that the water bacteria are, are more dominant. And interestingly, we find that in the case of viruses, um, uh, we're able to remove them uh, almost completely from the water sample. Uh, we see here uh, at the end of a uh, full treatment that uh, only uh, very harmless bacteria remain in the water system, and the water therefore is available for drinking. So this technique follows on the uh, discussion that uh, Dr. Rose has provided. Uh, it's a very elegant way of tracking pathogens proving that the water treatment system has been very effective and now can be reused. So we are now in a sustainable situation with full recycling of that very precious commodity, water. Thank you. Mm -hmm.